Kusang Pula. My name is Dichen Wangmo. I am a research officer working in Gross National Happiness Commission Secretariat. I've done an assessment with Center for Bhutan and GNH Studies on project implementation duration to study the significance of the five year planning period. The evolving needs of both the new form of governance and the changing needs of the economy and citizens have led to a rethink of the relevance of the five year planning system. The five year planning system has been guiding Bhutan's socio economic development since the inception of the first five year plan in 1961. It provides an overarching framework and time frame in guiding the rest of the developmental processes with respect to priority setting as well as beginning and end of any other developmental programs or projects. Therefore, it is perceived that a five-year plan ensures that projects durations are guided by the five-year planning period. But is it actually the case? Not fully so in practice. It is observed that projects have varying life cycle and does not necessarily align with five-year plan time frame. I have assessed 2,069 numbers of donor projects that have been implemented in the 11th and 12th five-year plan to understand the actual time alignment of donor projects to five-year plan. The assessment reveals that the average project implementation duration is not five years but 2.6 years instead. In terms of projects versus their implementation duration, on an average, Across 11th and 12th five-year plan, 84.6% of projects have implementation duration of three years or less. Out of 1,311 projects implemented in the 12th five-year plan, until fiscal year 2021 to 2022, 25.9% of projects are those that have spilled over from 11th five-year plan. While the 12th five-year plan commenced in fiscal year 2018 to 2019, 74 donor projects were formulated in fiscal year 2019 to 2020 and fiscal year 2020 to 2021. In terms of projects versus their fund size, projects with fund size of 50.7 million ultrams or less have been completed within three years. In case of activities funded by internal resources, except for a handful of activities that span over several years, all other activities have been completed within one year time period. Therefore, RGOV activities are annually planned and implemented and not necessarily anchored on five-year plan duration in terms of time frame. Based on these findings, as long as the plan duration is concerned, Switching to a three-year planning cycle instead of current five-year planning cycle can be recommended. This is because, as highlighted earlier, the mean implementation period is 2.6 years and major chunk of donor projects, that is 84.6% across 11th and 12th five-year plan have implementation duration of less than three years. This switch could result to a large number of donor projects completing within three years time period. Meanwhile, for those donor projects which begin in the middle of a plan, those which spill over to the next plan, and projects with fund size bigger than 50.7 million ultrams, a separate study is recommended as to whether and how projects of such nature must align with the three-year planning cycle owing to differing factors of donor cycles, donor strategies, fund size, and other aspects of the projects. For detailed reading on the assessment, please visit Center for Bhutan and GNH Studies website. Thank you for your attention.